In May 2000, mother and daughter Rosemary and Melissa Brown set out into the night at Blair Athol for what would be a fatal walk. Rosemary's body was found in mangroves at Garden Island two months later. But what happened to 15-year-old Melissa remains a mystery. But detectives haven't given up hope and are now reviewing the cold case, searching for a breakthrough. Garden Island, Port Adelaide. Dolphin Sanctuary, Water Sport Haven and Fishing Hotspot. And in May 2000, a murder scene. A group of children made the gruesome discovery shortly before five o'clock last night. A woman's body floating in the Port River. Some young children were out crabbing and uh, were looking under rocks and so forth um, and then came across uh, what they believed to be a body and went back, told their parents, and the police were called. 33-year-old Rosemary Brown had disappeared two months earlier. She'd been living in a caravan at Dover Street, Blair Athol, with her daughter, Melissa, when at 1.30am on May 13, they made the fatal decision to go looking for Rosemary's young son. But it's what happened next that remains a mystery. A witness saw the pair walking down Grand Junction Road towards the Stockade Botanical Park at Northfield. It would be the last time they were seen alive. Rosemary's handbag was found a day later, a few hundred metres away in Stirling Street. It's hoped advancements in DNA could shed light on who came into contact with it. We're still looking at that um, and uh, that will be something we're endeavouring to look at with forensic services. Like many cold cases, detectives do have a person of interest, but more information is needed to charge anyone. And with two suspected victims, police must consider the possibility there's more than one killer. We're still looking into that. However, we are looking at other avenues as well and, and uh, with the help of the public, we're uh, trying to identify potentially other people that may be involved. And just as important as identifying those responsible is finding Melissa's body. Police believe there's little chance she's still alive despite reported sightings both here and interstate, all of which have been investigated. And there's been a number of people coming forward and um, giving us information where they think she may be living now. Um, we've uh, conducted a number of inquiries in relation to that and we haven't been able to prove that she is still alive. We would all like to live in hope that that is the case, but at, at this stage we, we're presuming that she, she is deceased. A $1 million reward is on offer for anyone who can help catch those responsible or help police find Melissa's body. Will McDonald, Nine News. And if you know anything about the case, please contact Crime Stoppers.